I must have been eight or nine years old when I first realized that I would never witness the Zephyr's arrival. As a small child, I often imagined myself stepping foot on Euros D, leaving the ship for the first time in my life. I didn't understand at the time that this was a privilege reserved for my grandchildren. I still remember the conversation I had with my father. He was uncomfortable about the whole thing. And I get it. People don't like talking about their children's mortality. Still, he made me feel better. He reminded me of the importance of our mission for the survival of mankind. We're the only egg in the second basket, he said, or something like that. The basket being Eurus D, a habitable planet just four light years away from Earth. And the egg, that's the roughly 1,300 people aboard the Zephyr. Everyone I'll ever know. I knew that Dad was worried about me. He'd noticed that I'd been sleeping a lot lately and virtually stopped socializing. I wasn't sure at the time what was wrong with me, but I found it harder and harder to get motivated.
seem to be pretty shaken up, but I didn't understand why this detail was such a big deal to him. And what did the captain know about it?
notes for my speech, even though I wasn't reading a word of it. We had agreed to frame my father's death as an unfortunate accident, to keep the intruder a secret in the name of public peace and safety. It was our highest imperative. If there was a person between the ship's population and their safety, they would get crushed by design. There was no security override to save the individual. In a way, this concept made sense to me. It had to. After all, I was the chief of security now. said that I had to allow myself to grieve, live through the pain to overcome it. I tried to bottle it all up instead, but my thoughts kept circling to the events of that night. It had been weeks and we still had no idea who we'd been chasing down there, or what they'd tried to accomplish. I kept thinking that things would have played out differently if only I had acted faster. I worked a lot to keep my mind in check. Everybody was out celebrating arrival day, but I was glad that the captain called me over.
Talia rarely let the mask slip, but I'd been seeing it more and more lately. She'd gotten visibly angry the other day, which I'd never seen before. She wasn't taking Dad's death lightly and probably felt increasingly isolated. Or maybe I was just projecting.
saying. I'd known for a while that Lewis was unhappy about how certain things worked on the ship, but I'd never thought he would lose faith in the mission. I knew him better than almost anyone in the general population. If his views were this radical and I didn't notice, what about everybody else? Maybe the crew was losing touch. I knew we had to face this before it got worse.